What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is my 01 F350 73 Power Stroke. And I finally got some new emblems for this thing. This truck was a one owner truck and it was a farm truck. It's out of dings and dents. And the previous owner had the truck, had new fenders put on it, had it painted. So as you can see, it's got the F250 emblem. Not a big deal, bugs me. So I ordered some, some new badges. But I'm going to be going through today and hopefully showing you how to put them on. I've never messed with these badges. Looks pretty self-explanatory. I'll be going through some steps how to get these emblems off uh, with basic stuff you got laying around the house, really. I didn't go to town and buy uh, any kits or anything like that to replace these. So I got some Dawn dish soap, flathead, and old Food City card so I don't scratch my paint. And I got a heat gun ready to go, and a rag, and some trialing fishing string to get behind the emblem and get that uh, that glue residue and everything off. But I'm going to go ahead and throw on the GoPro and get started. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and heat this thing up right here. We're just going to loosen up this glue. It's going around. Don't want to burn anything. I'm not worried about the emblem, just the... Don't want to get too hot around the paint there. Take the old trusty Food City card. So I don't scratch my paint. Give it a pop. It's hot. There we go. One came off pretty easy. Use this card. There we go. Didn't have to use any fishing string, but if these were on there tight, you can put the fishing string through it and just kind of wiggle it through the adhesive, which I might still use it. Dang, that thing's hot. Whew. Go ahead and grab my Dawn dish soap and some water. Kind of clean this up, get the dirt off so I don't scratch it. And it'll loosen up that adhesive a little bit, I think. Just the important thing is use something softer than the metal so you don't scratch your paint. That's why they make those plastic putty knife kits for stuff like this, but Food City card for the win on this one. And I've got two rags. One's just a rag for the soap and water, and the second one's just clean water and uh, so we can wipe off the soap and everything. That way it's got a nice clean, dry surface to adhere to, and it's coming off pretty good. Let that dry in the sun for a second and we'll be ready to go. While that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and start working on this one here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's getting hot. Just be careful not to burn your paint. So just keep that in mind, that came right off. And all you do to install these, it's got some 3M sticky tape. Just go ahead and give that a good peel. Pulls right off. And luckily, with these, they're dummy proof. They've got the prongs right here, line right up in there. So you can't mess it up. Get it on there where it looks good. And then all I'm gonna do here is just keep some pressure on it, especially right here in the middle. That way this adhesion sticks really well. So just hold this for, I don't know, 15 to 30 seconds. But it should adhere pretty quick. That turned out really clean. Looks much better. You can see the outline of the old Power Stroke emblem there, just a hair. You can kind of use that as a guide to get this thing kind of in factory place where it was. And give it a stick. Just like that. Didn't need any tools really at all, just some heat and some degreaser. Here's the final product, guys. You can kind of see how it turned out. That's like perfect from OEM specs. Looks clean. Not sure how I feel about that still. Let me know what you guys think. Looks got this side done as well. So pretty simple, easy video today. I just never done it before. Want to see how hard it was. Super easy. Hopefully the video helped you guys out and decide on what style badges you want to go with or just how to do it. But anyway guys, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day.